Hello, Ward of the Visions fans. We're going to be talking about Dark Ramu today, which is a late video, but I feel it's still good to get it out there for anybody that's on the fence. I'm sorry that it's late. I've been very busy at work, but you can also see things are a little bit different behind me because we got rid of the old cabinet thing that was off to my side. So now my display case is back on camera. For those of you that have watched me for a long time, you know all about my display case with Sabin, my little SNES controller, and then all these wonderful, beautiful mobile suits slash Gundams. And you might also notice something else about me right now. You might be thinking to yourself, whoa, Missidia, that's a really cool jacket. And you're right, it is a very cool jacket because this jacket is from Square Enix. They sent it to me. So we've got uh, the, oh my gosh, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. War Divisions uh, on this side, FFBE uh, on the chest will stand up here. And then on the back, okay, wait for this. I mean, you've seen these jackets before, but still. But. We've got the uh, the full artwork on the back. So uh, thank you so much to Square Enix for sending me this jacket. It was a pretty cool moment. You know, I've been doing War of the Visions content for a while. I've also been doing FFPE content and, you know, to, to be recognized is very special. So I appreciate that. And let's get to the main part of the video. All right, so here we are on the Dark Ramu page. And this is one of the better Dark VC Esper combos that we've seen so far and will see. It's one of my favorites, but it's still very, very expensive to get these Esper slash VCs. So there might be an actual alternative that we'll talk about in just a second here but first let's look at this why is it so good and it's honestly i mean you get defense spirit dexterity huge magic huge hp and then the effects themselves are very very powerful so to get 50 percent magic for wind and lightning units but also get the earth resistance for the lightning units and the slash resistance for everybody there uh i mean sorry the earth resistance is for everybody the the wind and the, the lightning but specifically lightning units will like it the slash resistance is a really key thing to add on even though penetration is so important it still makes a difference and this allows you to go full offense but still maintain a little bit of defense the other part of this that's so important is the fact that it has the spirit penetration on it which is really good for the summer helena but in general is good for so many casters and there's lots of people that attack uh, spirit in both lightning and wind that are relevant if you're talking about saddle or, or more on the wind side Side, uh, if we're talking about all of our lightning mages that we have, various lightning mages. So this is really good. I know in global that we also have a bar on her card, but still this is a very powerful VC and the, the upgrade for it to get 10 AOE resist and 10% HP is in particular very good for Helena. But again, that's just applicable stats to any unit in lightning and they'll absolutely love it. Although you'll put this onto a lightning magic unit. Then we have the Esper part of this combination. And this is a really good Esper, namely, we have 20 agility on it, which is a really big deal. And then when we go into the skill tree, there's so many good things. I mean, you can obviously stack a lot of magic attack and lightning attack and things like that, but we can also uh, take a look at having human killer. So this is good for literally anybody that is a magic attacker that wants to, you want to use them in PVP. Uh, and also the 25% slash resistance really really powerful effect super important to have uh, on a lot of you know different units we're getting more and more uh ways to do this and then even some critical hit rate stuff so this this esper tree is one of the one of the best around it's a really viable uh, option instead of bahamut as a damage but also now more defensive than bahamut is uh as an esper because you can get all the human killer magic attack but then you also can go into slash resist this makes it a really powerful esper Obviously, getting these is huge. They're a good card. It's a good card. It's a good VC. But then what are the alternatives if you don't want to spend all that Vizior? Now, on one of my previous videos, I got a very insightful comment from a viewer called Pipe. And they said you should watch out for this Minwoo VC because it actually has a lot of things in similar in common uh, with the Dark Ramu. And people might actually want to pull for that as it's way more accessible at 10k Vizior compared to the Dark Espers and VCs where you have to spend uh, 32 uh, instead. All right, so what is the alternative to Dark Ramu? It's going to be much, much cheaper. 
Well, it's going to be this Minwoo Winter VC that we will get at some point that is a job weapon slash uh, typed VC. So this has some spirit just like Dark Ramu has. It has a little bit less uh, magic and a lot less HP, uh, but what it does have is 60% magic. So the Dark Ramu had 50%, this has 60%, and we don't have any slash resistance here, but we do have 16 critical evasion, and more importantly, we have 20 AoE resistance, and that is a really powerful effect to have. Uh, now, why uh, would we consider this over Dark Ramu just because of the magic? Well, because it will actually work on a lot of the same units. So for example, I'm gonna tab over to uh, all the units it's gonna work with, and you can see there's a ton of different casters here that would benefit from the 60% magic, uh, including our Summer Helena and Renan of some of those lightning units that you might see. Uh, and if we keep scrolling down, you can see there's various other casters and units that will take advantage of this. Let's look at it in an easier way because we're comparing it to Dark Ramu, here are the lightning and wind units that can use this VC. And you can ask yourself, am I pulling Dark Ramu for any of these units? And if you are, then that is a, a consideration to make because then you could get this other VC instead. So if you wanna get Ramu for Helena, well, maybe you could get this VC for Helena. Uh, same thing with uh, Resnick Renan, uh, it borrows on there too. And Cloud even benefits from this. So if you have Cloud and Helena and Renan or Resnick, then you can can give them all AOE resistance, some critical evasion, and then the magic casters can take advantage of the magic percent up. Now on the wind side, it really doesn't stack up uh, very well for wind, so you would want to get Dark Ramu if you are a wind player that wants all of those nice, uh, you know, juicy stats in the VC. Uh, and again, if you want the Esper, then again, that, that's another decision that you'll have to make. But if you're looking at specifically for lightning casters, this VC, this new one that's coming out, uh, could be be a good replacement for for Ramu, uh, especially if you already have uh, Ibarra's VC that has some bestowed spirit penetration that you could give to Helena. All right, so that's going to be it for this comparison. If you want to know my opinion, I'm I personally skip all of the Dark Esper VCs, even though I very much want them because I am like essentially free to play now. I don't I don't spend in this game and I haven't in over a year. So I'm, I'm not gonna be, you know, spending my hard earned Vizzy or on them. But I do think that many top end players would pull for this one. Uh, and you know, have pulled for things like Odin in the past because they really do make a difference. And if you're a spender, then this is certainly something you should be considering. For free to play users, it's a really tough sell. I mean, VC espers are often the better long-term product to get, uh, but they're just not as fun as getting new units, even though units are power crept uh, faster than vision cards are. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, if you're a free-to-play player with a long-term goal in your account, then you very well may be paying this and, and you know going for the pity and hopefully luckily getting it earlier uh, but if you are someone that likes to pull your favorite units and or, or, you know you want to keep some uh, Vizior in stock for you know all the limited stuff coming up and the possible the shadow links that we don't know about and uh, you know dragon quest etc et then yeah you got to skip this card and you know okay but we're actually you know filming this several days after the the banner dropped so many of you have already pulled for dark ramu let me know how it went in the comments down below you know if you had to pity and i'm so sorry if you did or if you got lucky and then otherwise i'll see you all in the next video before too long